I'm so pleased to be here today to share the news that our committee deliberated on the um, safety and the efficacy of pediatric COVID-19 vaccines for children five through 11 years of age, and uh, strongly recommended that children in this age group be vaccinated with COVID-19 vaccine. There was a strong endorsement from many of the committee members. We always are looking for diverse viewpoints. Uh, uh, and what we heard is um, enthusiasm to make sure that we could provide access to these vaccines to protect children from COVID-19 infection. The vote was actually 14 uh, yeses and zero noes. Um, a few key points from today's meeting. One is that their, uh, burden, the burden of uh, COVID-19 infection in children is substantial with nearly 1.9 million of infections among children five through 11 years of age, 8,300 hospitalizations, uh, 2,300 cases of uh, multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children, uh, which is a severe uh, complication of COVID-19 infection and nearly 100 deaths in children. And all of these are vaccine preventable. I know that many of us on the committee are always thinking about what we would do if it was our own family member. And I can say um, with certainty that um, if I had a child who was uh, between the ages of five and 11, I would enthusiastically want to make sure my own child get vaccinated. Um, I have uh, you know, uh, certainly vaccinated my own children who are a little bit older. The risk of infection is local. And so it's important to work with our public health partners to make sure that we have a good understanding of community level transmission. And it's really important for us to continue to mitigate risks to protect ourselves and our loved ones. And so what I would say is this gets us one step closer uh, to getting back to truly the new normal that I hope we can get to. So it's really important to remember that vaccines, while they are the most reliable layer of protection, that masking also provides an additional layer of protection. And Masking, particularly in schools, is, an, is incredibly important because first of all, not everyone is able to be protected. So not only does it protect us, but it protects our um, classmates and our teachers who perhaps haven't had the opportunity to get vaccinated or have not been able to develop a robust immune response uh, because of underlying medical conditions. So similar to what we see in adults, having a sore arm, redness or tenderness at the site of the injection is extremely common. Uh, we also you know, tell uh, both adults and children uh, that uh, they may have systemic reactions like fatigue or headache. Um, they're actually less likely to develop fever and chills compared to um, older teens and adults, but it may happen. And uh, it's one way I like to think about it is it's your body's uh, developing its own immune response to COVID-19 infection. So having those reactions um, is perfectly expected and safe. Um, the most important thing you can do if you have any questions is to go back and talk to your pediatric provider um, to, to ask questions about the benefits and the risks and to make sure that you feel comfortable that uh, receiving a vaccine is right for you and for your family. Um, make sure that you go to credible sources of information for that and that would be your, um, your medical home.